For today's episode, you will need a tomato, a potato, an onion, your favorite cheese, some meat, your favorite complimentary spice, some buns, and a beer. Maybe two beers, maybe four beers. I'll let you choose on the beers. Now if you have a swedge block, it's great to use one of these. I have a classic Wally Yader original. I do have the set. But first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna mix the meat in this dish here. And we want to preserve the block as much as possible. But we also want to preserve the meat as much as possible. Protecting the tools, let's make sure we oil down. Make sure our swedge block is nice and protected. Use Pam, you can use butter. Today I'm using a flavorful WD-40. I am a fan of placing my herbs here. And then comes the good stuff. Oh yeah. Feel free to mix and turn and really work in the burger. You can add some egg if you want. And for today's show, I'll be adding a little bit of Mrs. Dash. And continue to knead the meat and work in those spices. If you find your meat starting to stick don't hesitate, lubricate, and just continue to work it in there. If you're in a rush and you have a large party waiting for you, feel free to simply grab the spice and work it in. Oh, it smells great already. Mm, mm, mm. Now, I don't know about you, but I like my meat a certain way. That's a big burger. Break this apart. Make some little meatballs. Coming over to the power hammer. Again, we're taking care of our tools, making sure everything's clean. Just like the swedge block, feel free to lubricate your dies and simply place the patty on the die. And with some hammer control, make the patty. That's nice. Oh, don't go too far. Next, under the power hammer, we're going to want to slice the tomato, the tomato. I'm going to slice it in half. And then continue. Now, we don't want to bottom out the cutting tool and mark up our die. So that last little bit, just push it through. Nothing to show off here to the ladies. And then from here, we will just cut. Look at that. Eat your heart out, Martha Stewart. Oh, don't those look lovely. Wow. Next is the onion. I have a yellow onion here. Again, some power hammer control. You can see we can easily slice and dice. But wait, don't forget the potato. Who wants french fries? Who likes Texas fried? Oh yeah, you guys know what I'm talking about. The good stuff, the big stuff. Texas, America. Mmm, potatoes. Don't forget those onions. A burger is not complete without them. And a little spices, let these sit on the side for a little bit. A little Mrs. Dash. So today's meal is gonna be cooked on a hot plate. I have a 3 8 plate, about eight inches 
wide, about 20 inches long. I will have it sitting on top of my hardy tools. That way my anvil is not acting as a heat sink. A lot of heat will be coming off of this, so if there are things that are flammable, get them out of the way now. But I will get this hot plate approximately 2,000 degrees. Let's do this. So you wanna bring out your hot plate. If you want a gradient of hot to cool, feel free to customize this any way you want. Uh, personally, I like the uh, onions to be kind of on the darker side here. And the potatoes, especially these big Texas fries. This needs to be called chips, technically. Whew. That is hot. I'm taking our handy dandy spatula. Mmm. Oh, five second roll. Nice. Now before any of the heat really gets, go ahead and uh, get those hamburgers cooking. That's what we're here for. Oh yeah. I think I need a bigger plate. Mmm. That's right. Let's flip them over. Look at that spatula. Thing of beauty. Oh. You did a good job on the spatula. Go ahead and flip these guys over. A little brown. And a little favorite of mine. I always like to cook my tomatoes with my hamburger meat. Gives it a little flavor. Especially this Mrs. Dash that we put on there. About five minutes per side. Oh, look at that spatula. It's beautiful. Oh, man. The copper. Just sliding under everybody. Okay, I'm gonna... Move these onions on the other side, get them cooking a little bit more. Oh, on big holidays like this, there's just nothing like a barbecue, especially in the forge. Oh, five second roll. Just made it. Put some cheese. A little bit of grilled cheese. I don't know about you. I say we just go ahead and toast the bun. Oh yeah. Look at this. How to forge a burger. Oh man, this is actually like smelling really good. Boom! Oh, doesn't that look great? Tomato in that. Oh yeah. Get another one. Uh, oh! Whoa, I almost had to use the 10 second rule. Oh yeah, with that cheeseburger on there. Woo, hot stuff, hot stuff, coming through. Oh, oh. Can't forget all this work on this onion. Let's get a couple pieces of onion on there. You guys know what I'm talking about. Oh man, thank you for eating this burger. Yeah, there's no way I would have eaten that. Who would eat that? It's disgusting. <laughs>